Well, what types of risks are we going to talk about? Well, let's start with the big one. Look at letter A on page two, drug trafficking. Now, hopefully your program has already taken steps to really start mitigating the, the, the drug trafficking uh, problem, because this is one that has been uh, a requirement for a long time. Uh, and now high level drug trafficking, again, it's the, it's, it's not just the, the, uh, you know, the, the sale of drugs that we're talking about. It's not just the money laundering. We're talking, we're going to look at all aspects of the drug trade when we think about trafficking. So the production of the various types of, of drugs, the distribution and the sale of these controlled substances. Um, and because all along that pipeline, um, there are profits for traffickers and drug cartels and organized crime, and everybody's making money off of different sections here. So you need to understand the stages of drug trafficking because it might not just be the the um, the, the the sale that you're on the lookout for. It could be the smuggling that your system could catch. It could be the manufacturing side of things. And so think through of the various stages. Don't just think of it in terms of of the actual drug sale to the to the drug dealer. Um, but so the first stage is production. That's the cultivation and the manufacturing or the synthesis of the actual drugs that are out there. And these are often in hidden or remote locations um, that are outside of where those drugs are actually being consumed. But our programs can be on the lookout for this. But in order to do so, you have to understand the, the location and the practice of various types of drug organizations and, and different drugs. Uh, maybe you don't have a lot of risk for certain types of drugs, like, for instance, cocaine. That is produced in Bolivia and Peru and Colombia, and maybe you are you don't have a whole lot of exposure there. So when you look at drug production, you think, well, for cocaine, we don't have to worry about that. Heroin, again, that's most of that is out in Afghanistan is where it's being produced. Uh, but fentanyl, however, that's in Mexico. OK, uh, MDMA is is typically in Europe or Scandinavia. Um, meth, meth can be homegrown right here in, in the U.S. of A. So, you know, the different types of drugs that are out there, when you're looking at the at, at the potential indications that there might be production going on on that side of things, um, a lot of times that will depend on your area of the map. And, and, and in most cases, you may say we don't have a lot of risk here. We don't have to have an in-depth program. That's what your risk assessment is all about. Um, but looking through it and really thinking through some of these things and, and doing that analysis can help make sure that you are right-sizing your program.